During her Wembley show on Thursday night, Taylor Swift had a wonderful moment with an adorable mini-me and gave her the coveted 22 cap. The 34-year-old cruel summer hitmaker is back in London for five more performances, the first of which is about to start. Every night of the tour, Taylor's staff selects a young fan to present her hat to when she performs her beloved song 22, which is from the Red Album. The record-breaking tour, which is currently entertaining fans in London, has generated some incredibly adorable moments, including one in which Taylor dances up to the child and gives them a hug. Additionally, the young girl in question on Thursday night bore a strong similarity to a young Taylor, who had long, curly blonde hair. The cute fan was overjoyed to see Taylor standing right in front of her, and she expressed her overwhelming excitement when the pop star bent down to give her a firm hug. The young girl was then seen to be told by Taylor, I love you, as she walked back to the stage to resume the song with the rest of her dancers. It has been stated that, in the wake of a foiled terror attack against her Vienna engagements, Taylor's final leg of the Wembley shows will focus on unity, love, and bringing fans together. Taylor has been going through a tough period. This month, she had to postpone three concerts in Vienna due to information that ISIS intended to attack her followers. The storyline was developed soon after three young girls in Southport, Merseyside, were killed while attending a dance lesson with a Taylor Swift theme. Taylor's first performance after the two events, which must have been difficult for her to handle, is on August 15 at Wembley. During a speech on stage, she broke her silence about the trying time by saying, the way that you have chosen to welcome us. 92,000 of you are gathered here, raising your hands and yelling the words. We sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts. London, you have our undying love. I really appreciate that, knowing how much planning, energy, and effort it took to come to these shows. She will be performing the best show of her life in London for the following five nights, according to a previous source. According to a source, Taylor does everything for her fans, and when she comes to Wembley, she will be performing her best show to date. Hate never triumphs, and Taylor firmly believes in that. She will always aim to spread the idea that love, acceptance, and unity are the themes of her performances. When the first night at Wembley comes around tomorrow, they will be hard at work again. There were 200 of them in Annabelle's, so it was crowded, but it was a wonderful evening. Everyone was incredibly grateful for Taylor's efforts. A day before the second leg of the London tour began, Taylor came back to the city and threw a party at Annabelle's, an exclusive members club, for her team. According to a source, Taylor is one of the most giving pop singers around, and she hosted this party as a way to honor her team members' dedication. She gave her crew permission to have fun by renting out Annabelle's for the evening and setting up a free bar. The singer will play five more events to complete this leg of her tour after having three shows in June. Private counterterrorism security troops may be sent to thousands of supporters' safety at her next concerts, according to sources. The pop star's concerts, according to sources, will depend on increased security as a reaction to the Vienna terror plan. Ernst Happel Stadion in Vienna was scheduled to host Taylor on August 8, 9, and 10 in front of an estimated 170,000 spectators. Prior to the cancellation of the three gigs, the venue was scheduled to be fortified with additional security measures. This has devastated Taylor. The first indication of Swift's response to the news came from an insider, she is devastated for the fans who have been waiting for years to see her. She would never jeopardize her fans' safety, but the idea of what might have occurred if a terror attack had targeted the concerts is terrifying. Everyone's memory of the events at Ariana Grande's Manchester concert is still very vivid. She has, however, informed her staff that she hopes to make an effort to visit Vienna again as soon as feasible in the future. She is very aware of the disappointment her Austrian supporters are feeling. Since the purported conspiracy was discovered, the hitmaker has not released any words in the public domain. Last week, word spread that a third suspect had been apprehended. The kid was allegedly radicalized by the ISIS-K group in Afghanistan, just like the two other people who were apprehended earlier. The primary suspect, a 19-year-old guy, allegedly had plans to use knives and machetes to attack the tens of thousands of Swifties who had assembled outside Ernst Happel Stadium. According to police, the suspect assembled explosives in an effort to kill as many people as possible. UN Undersecretary for Counterterrorism Vladimir Vorokov declared, the group is considered the greatest external terrorist threat to the continent, 
adding that the group had stepped up recruitment efforts on the continent, according to sources. The singer had earlier shared a heartfelt letter following a knife assault that left three kids dead and six more critically injured at a dance class based on her songs. Following the incident in Southport, Merseyside, a 17-year-old kid is being questioned and is currently being held under arrest on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. Eight more kids were hurt, five of them between the ages of 6 and 11 critically injured, along with two female adults who bravely tried to protect them. The horror of yesterday's attack in Southport is washing over me repeatedly and I'm simply absolutely in disbelief, the American singer posted on Instagram. The terrible anguish wreaked on all those present, including first responders, relatives, and those who lost lives and innocence. These were merely young children attending a dancing class. I have no idea how I will ever be able to express my condolences to these families. The two funerals and assistance for the families touched by the tragedy have been paid for thanks to a Just Giving page created by fans.